Angels and Ancestors and lovelies this is your what the fuck reading for the 26th of April through to the 2nd of May and um, just one announcement I put the bell put the Beltane readings up I'm not sure all of them have processed but they're on their way so that they should all be finished and up by the end of um, Sunday and um, so lovelies let's have a look at your what the fuck so can we ask what started the what the fuck for Taurus for this week 26th of April through to the 2nd of May please like share and subscribe for me lovelies it does really help and you know I really love getting messages from people as well so please even if it's just some emojis or something just either thumbs up or thumbs down or whatever and um, just to let me know that you're enjoying the channel i'm not going to take a pile of cards for the current situation i am taking a pile of cards for the current situation obviously there's a bit of a story to be told taurus so lovely this can't resonate for everybody take what you can and leave the rest it could be something that's happened to you happening or going to happen or it could be an energy that is currently around you please look at the other um, recordings as well Taurus if you've got um, other star signs or zodiac signs in your chart and they're more heavily placed than your star sign So your movement, your journey, uh, where the fuck you need to be, Taurus. Where does Taurus need to be for this week, please? Think the story is all in the current situation. Oh, I am not taking that many. And what they can do about the situation, please. What can Taurus do about this situation? Thank you. What the fuck is out of Taurus's hands? Hold on, lovelies. have another pile of what that's what's out of your hands I'm going to put that pile back and then don't give a fuck the reconnecting to the true you these cards are really full of energy for you Taurus what's going on around you lovely but we will find out And the final outcome, what the fuck is happening next for Taurus, please? So lovelies, we've got a bit of a story going on with your current situation. Now, it would appear that you were summoned or you walked through 
an open door turning your back on a situation now this door isn't a bad door this isn't a bad thing that you've done you've walked away from something that was no longer serving you this is the three of the famous and usually that door would lead to somewhere that is more beneficial for you and um, being able to cut away what no longer serves you and a new way of being if not a new way of life for you and prior to that darlings you were hiding away a bit you was hiding some money you was hiding away you weren't opening that door to somebody and it could have been that you were saving up for something it could have been that you saw what was happening in the world currently and you just held on to your pennies um, because you were being a bit wiser than everybody else um, but I'm kind of getting that maybe that was prior to the situation that we're now in and you are thankful that you actually whatever it is you held on to that you did hold on to it now what I'm getting is lovely is right behind that holding on to that pennies was you've got the three of wands which indicates that you was looking across seas um, for new business whether you were going to it or it was coming to you um, that has had a block put on it uh, for the time being I'm right behind um, the Queen of Cups I'm getting straight away from this Queen that she wants you to be more compassionate around the situation not knee jerk about it because holding on to your, your pennies your pentacles whatever you did was the right thing to do and um, this deal that was a um, from abroad that's still there it hasn't gone anywhere it just might, might take some time for it to come to fruition but she's asking you to heal from the situation and she's asking you to spare a kind thought and not be so heavy handed on yourself or other people about what's going on around your business and right behind that you have a very passionate queen um, so I'm kind of getting that not only you're going to be doing healing and learning to fill your cup up um, <coughs> to be able to push forward, you are passionately involved in whatever this business deal um, is. Uh, and right behind her, you've got the five of wands you are used to bringing different people together um, for this business, for this cause. You might have to deal with personalities, but it's nothing bad because it is the personalities and the egos of other people, the passion of other people um, that kind of get you going, get you get your juices going, get, get the job done, in fact. So, lovelies, I'm kind of getting that what started the what the fuck um, was you trying something new and it got stopped dead in its tracks. <clears throat> now with the two queens next to each other we could be dealing with a water sign within um, the within your life and a fire sign within your life um, but whichever way that is whether that's partly you whether it's somebody that's around you you are coming into your own behind all of this because it's given you time to take a breath it's given you time to get in touch with your inner self um, your inner magic uh, your inner witch if you like and it's given you the time to understand what protection really means around you and your family it's given you time to understand that you can draw down energy from the universe whatever you believe in um, even if you don't believe in anything I think that for some of you you are calling upon the ancestors um, at times or you are seeing something beautiful happen in the world and it's making you want this lovely new beginning and although you still desire this business deal whether it's you going to it or it coming to you you're going to approach it with a completely different attitude uh, what a story Taurus so instead of being stubborn about something for once, my darlings, you've taken this opportunity to wholeheartedly um, find a new way of being, a new way of taking this business venture forward um, to the benefit of everybody else that's involved in it. So lovelies, your first aspect facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. I kind of got when I laid this down that you're working hard to keep communication going. 
um, but you are going to stand in your power because you are very well situated to be grounded you are an earth sign this is a fire sign and I'm getting that you may have a fire sign around you just from the amount of wands that there are in your reading um, the fire signs are Aries, Leo and Sag it could be that it's in your birth chart but this is saying to me that communications are inevitable they are important but you are struggling you are having to work hard to keep that communication going what I'm going to say to you is nature's pantry is full for you and you can ground yourself and there is more than one way of communicating with somebody and if it's not working for you maybe you're on different sides of the world and when you're asleep they're awake and vice versa and all the rest of it think about the technology that we've got going forward um, ask them if there's a time of day that suits you as well where you can connect these energies for communication and again lovely this is one this is about your passion this is about what it is that you believe in that you can do this is about your job your career your business this is about something that you wholeheartedly believe in so keep the communication open even if it's just fleeting communication so long as somebody is seeing your name flash up and they know that you are still thinking about your project your project whatever it is your business still whatever it is is going to stay in place so your second aspect what you've been manifesting your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked Darlings, you've got the six of wands. This is coming back, triumph. This is accolade. This is people within your community, your family, your friends are seeing the hard work that you're doing. Um, but I kind of get that you stand in its way, that you don't feel that you've quite earned this yet because the deal hasn't been done. And let me tell you, a lot of people are seeing the hard work you're putting in to whatever it is that you're doing and they are really appreciating it. So don't be so hard on yourself because things are currently out of everybody's hands. And again, you have another wand card. This is the four of wands, this is celebrations. This is the coming together of a couple who have sowed seeds over many seasons and now the crop is coming in and the celebrations are there to be had this couple is happy this is your journey this is where you need to be so Taurus <coughs> going forward on your journey although you've got all this going on around your business I get the feeling that this is for your family and your community I'm not getting that this is just a normal business deal for business I'm getting that something um, needed to be done and you have tried so hard to get it done but you are resistant to the celebrations at the moment don't don't if people want to plump you up they want to hold you up take that because that is all positive energy that they are feeding back to you to help you carry on with whatever this desire is that you've got going on and look at this, what you can do about the situation. You've got the Wheel of the Year. The Wheel of the Year talks about all the seasons, not just the seasons of this year, but the seasons of many years, the seasons of your life. And it talks about luck. And what it tells you is just tread the wheel. Don't rush in and out of seasons without a clue of why you've done it. Don't rush from the spring to the summer because you think it's warmer and it makes you feel better. Um enjoy each season for what it actually brings you and i'm getting with this wheel of the year that there's a lot of luck on your side and providing you take your time um things will sort themselves out so what you can't do um about the situation on you've got a page you've got the page of chalices now this page comes in this is a young energy it could be a water sign that's younger than you within the family. But this page comes in with a clear message of healing. That's the running waters behind you. And the way that you can heal is to reconnect to the things that you love. 
um, the thing that makes you sing, the thing that makes you feel better about the world. So whether that's painting, writing, climbing a mountain, going potholing, whatever it is, whatever takes your fancy, whatever it is that makes your heart tick and your soul sing, they are asking you to reconnect. If you don't reconnect with that art, with that craft, you're going to find life mightily difficult at the moment. And if you haven't discovered what your thing is, pick up a paintbrush and see if you like it. Pick up a pen and write something and see if you like it. You know, go fishing. Maybe not in lockdown. I'm not quite sure how that would work. But yeah, I mean, just try something different, something new, something that may get the old heart pumping and make you feel better about the situation because we are all stuck at the moment and this is what you can't change this is out of your fucking hands you need to do this and part of the healing will be is your expectations will have to take time so darlings don't give a fuck the reconnecting to the true you this is just about you taurus now you have the page of a Thames, again at a younger energy, an air sign. This page comes in and tells you clearly to draw down energy from the universe, which I think you do looking at the other cards. But it's also asking you to use your wisdom and let the moon illuminate a way forward for you. But it's asking you to draw down the energy in particular around your family you've got the ten of cups this is a completion of family but it's also the start of something so you may be welcoming in somebody new into the family um, you may well be changing how your family looks but the page of the theme is asking you to draw down energy around this because I'm getting the feeling you're going to need it around your family situation so your outcome um, for this week Taurus is you're becoming over protective you're becoming a little bit secretive about your projects and your plans <clears throat> and it may be that that's being misinterpreted by those around you so just be a little bit careful that if you are deep in thought that you are letting people know that it's not about them, that it is about your business deal, it is about your project, it is about what it is that you are trying to hold on to um, that is making you go into this mode of um, becoming quite protective over it. So at the bottom of the deck, lovelies, you have got the Seven of Chalices. Now this beautiful card talks about choices the seven is always very spiritual but this is a choice that you have to make you've got these little fairies whispering in your ears don't let people whisper don't let people put you off of the task in hand these are your choices and some of them are going to be with you for a very long time so don't let people put you off of what it is that you know in your heart your intuition is telling you what your choices should be. Don't listen to the whispers of others. So, Taurus, let's just get... <clears throat> Sorry, Dan, I'm really croaky today. I don't know why. Um, I think it might be the hay fever has come back. Let's just get some angels and ancestors for the week. Anything else for Taurus? Those two came out really quickly, didn't they? So lovely. It's the first two that came out was you have the Lord. And he says, take charge with authority. You have the water guardian. Connect with your emotions. This is about healing again, darlings. Whenever there's water within your uh, reading, <coughs> it is about... <coughs> sorry. Healing... And pushing your emotions forward and not repressing them. And then you have the white witch. Now she's coming out an awful lot at the moment. 
and she says on her card be the light so there you have it that's your reading 26th of april to the 2nd of may please like share and subscribe and i will catch you in next week's reading bye for now